Windows Embedded, Windows Embedded offers the Enhanced Write Filter, or EWF for short, as a safeguard against unauthorized write access to data carriers. Any write access, like the creation, modification, or deletion of data, will be carried out in a separate buffer if you have enabled EWF for the partition of a data carrier. This buffer is purged when Windows is restarted and the data will be lost. As a result, you will always be able to access the original state of your system and less write accesses will also positively influence the life cycle of your hard drive. You should, however, note that the buffer is deducted from the available RAM of your system. It can adversely influence processing speed if the buffer grows to such a size that there is not enough RAM left to run your Windows applications. EWF is enabled or disabled via the Somatic IPC EWF Manager or the Windows Console app. EWF Manager is disabled on the Open Controller by default, which we can see down here in the status bar on the Open Padlock icon. EWF Manager can only be operated in admin mode. If we are logged in as operator at the moment, we will have to close EWF Manager via the context menu in the status bar, log out from the operator account, log back in with the admin account, and then restart EWF Manager. We will then be able to access all EWF Manager functions. A simpler and much quicker way to operate EWF Manager is via the Windows Console app. In admin mode, you can start the app via the start bar and enter the command EWFMGR space, minus, question mark, for an overview of all available commands and their correct syntax. We will now go ahead and enable EWF for our partition C. We enter the command EWFMGR, space, C, colon, for our partition, space, minus, enable. The command is carried out, and we can see down here in our status bar that the padlock icon has changed color from blue to yellow. This means EWF is currently disabled, but will be enabled with the next system restart. All other functions are entered similarly to this enable command. A complete overview of all commands and their associated icons in the status bar can be found in the device manual for the open controller.